Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'm going to show how to find the LCM and the GCF of first two numbers, then three numbers, then four numbers, then five. And you can use the same technique in each of these cases. So let's get started. Okay, the technique I use, you need to find the prime factors. And I like to use a factor tree. And to speed things up, I went ahead and created a factor tree for 36 and 24. And we're going to show how to find the least common multiple and greatest common factor of two numbers. This chart is the key, or as my brother says, it's the key to the kingdom. Okay? And what this chart does is it helps keep you organized. So what you do, once you have your prime numbers, and I like to use a factor tree, whatever you do to find the prime numbers, you then write them in this chart. And I'm going to start with the lowest prime number first. I'm going to write a 2, then a 2, then a 3, and a 3. And if you'd like, you can put a little check by them to make sure you don't miss one. Because if you miss one, you will get it wrong. And then I'm going to start over here. And uh, I'm going to write a 2 here, a 2 I'm going to skip this 3, and I'm going to write this 3 here because I want to create nice columns. Because once you have this chart set up, then you just apply the following rules. Okay, for the LCM, you basically multiply these together. But what you do if you have more than one number, in, more than one prime number in a column, you just bring down 1. So I'm going to bring down 1, 2, bring down 1, 3, and then I'm going to bring down the 3 and the 2. And now you just multiply this together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. And 36 times 2 is 72. So the LCM is 72. Okay, now that was easy enough. Now for the GCF, the rule is... You bring down, you have to have prime numbers in each of the numbers. And so, since I have 2 in this column, I'll bring a 2 down. And I'm going to bring a 2 down here. I'm going to bring a 3 down here. I will not bring the 3 down here because there's only 1. And I will not bring the 2 down here because there's only 1. And then for the GCF, all you do is multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 2. 12 is the GCF. Now, what if you create this chart and you have something like this where there are no numbers? Then the GCF is 1. Now, let's move on to three numbers. And we're going to apply the same thing. Notice I've already done the factor tree for you. So I'm going to create my chart 40, 16, and 4. And there's really there's no difference in what order you put them. I could put 4, then 16, then 40. But the main thing is you need to be very careful writing the numbers. I've got a 2, 2, and then a 5. Put a check by them. You don't have to put a check, but I do that just to be careful. Please note, I have all the prime numbers circled. This 8 should not be circled. That's why I have the little 8 there. And then I'm going to write these out. I've got a 2. I've got a 2. I'm going to skip the 5 because, remember, I want to keep the same numbers in the columns. And then for the 4, I've got a 2 and a 2. Now... For the LCM, we know what the rule is. If in this case, uh, if you have two or more, then only bring down one number. So I have three here, so I'm going to bring down one number. Bring down one number. I've only got one five, so I'll bring a five down. I only have one two and one two. Okay. Now, just in case, if I did have two twos here, then I would just still bring down one two. So now I just multiply this together, two times two. We've got 4, and then times 5 is 20, and then times 2 is 40, and times 2 is 80. So the LCM is 80. Now, let's look at the GCF. Remember, the rule is you have to have at least, you have to have three numbers in the column. So there's one, so I'll bring one 2 down. Bring another 2 down. I cannot bring this 5 down. Can't bring this 2 down. Can't bring this. And 2 times 2 is 4 equals the GCF. So that's three numbers. Now, let's look at 4. Okay, we have four numbers now. And I'm going to go ahead and get straight to work. 
I'm going to create the chart. That is very important. Okay, so this is kind of like the ladder method a little bit. I'm going to write a 2 and a 3. And then for 12, I'm going to write a 2, a 3. Let me put a check by these. And then one more 2 so I don't make a mistake. For the 14, I have a 2. I can't write a 3. I'm going to skip the 3. I don't have a 2. I'm going to skip the 2. I'm going to write the 7 right there. And then for 22, I have a 2. I don't have a 3. don't have a 2. don't have a 7. I'll write it right there. Okay. Now I have nice pretty columns. Now for the LCM, if you have um, two or more up to four, again, you just bring down one number, bring down one number, bring down one, bring down one, bring down one. And now with this one, the multiplication, I don't know if I can do it in my head, but anyway, um, when you multiply all these together, it equals 924 is the LCM. Okay, I went ahead and did that beforehand because I knew once I got to here, I may struggle on the camera multiplying these together. Okay, so all I did was multiply all of these together for the 924. Now, for the GCF, remember, since we have four numbers, we have to have four in the column. And that is only, there's only one number with four. No, 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 and no. So that equals the greatest common factor. Now we're going to try five. Okay, now we have five numbers. So again, I'm going to write them out. Okay. Again, this order does not matter. You'll still get the same answer. Create my little organizing chart. I'm going to write two and three for the six. Okay. For 12, I'm going to write a two. I'm going to skip. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and write the three here. And then write another 2 there. For 18, I'm going to start with the 2. And then I have a 3. And then I'm going to skip this 2 and write another 3 here. And then I have a 2. I have a 3. And I have a 5, so I'm not going to write it here. I'm not going to write it there. I'll write it right here in its own column. And then finally for 36, I've got a 2. I've got a 3. And then I have two more twos, so I'm going to write a two here. I'm going to skip this three, skip this five, and write the two there. So now I have it in an order to where I think all we do is apply the rules. So now for the LCM, remember if you have um, two or more, just bring down one number. And this, I'll bring down one, two. This column, bring down one, three. One, two. 1, 3, 1, 5, and then the 2. And when I multiply all this together, that equals 180. So the LCM is 180. So 2 times 3, then times 2, times 3, times 5, times 2. That equals 180. And now for the GCF, for this, since we have 5 numbers, you have to have 5 in the column. So it looks like we have 5 there. And it looks like we have 5 in this column, 3. Multiply these together. No, 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 and no. So that would be, excuse me, I didn't, shouldn't bring down the 5. That's what I was thinking. I should bring down the 2. Okay? So, since I have 5 twos, I'll bring down the 2, bring down a 3, and so the GCF equals 6. Okay? So, again, I hope that helps in finding the LCM and GCF. And remember, just as a summary, I did it for two numbers, three numbers, four, and five. And this would even work for six or more. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.